Hello, Guitar Club. Thanks very much, guys, for your message, your phone message the other day. Um, it really made me happy. It really made my day. Um, I believe it was a Friday, so it was a great way to end the week. Um, I'm really missing Lena Shaw, all the teachers and all the students there. Um, and I'm really starting to feel that now. I'm really happy in my new school, but um, I really do miss you guys. I have really fond memories of the last time we played together at the assembly um, with Miss Rajak and singing, singing Wolf Spirit and all everybody on guitar, Mrs. Mack on the piano as everybody coming came into the gym and we were just kind of playing all together and kind of looking at each other. That's a really fond memory for me. Um, so let me just tell you a little bit about um, what I'm thinking I'd like to do with this, this year. Um, the idea of a live video chat is great, um, but I'm having some trouble at school finding a good place because we have different lunch times and the music room is pretty busy. So um, it's it's looking like it's going to be difficult for me to do um, live chat for now, but it's something I will certainly be thinking about doing through the year. But in the meantime, I thought it'd be really cool if I could um, record some videos for you guys and so um, we can still kind of work together virtually. So I hope you like that idea. Um, and I'll be talking to, to you guys and Mrs. Mack and we can figure out if there's a specific song you guys want to learn or if you're working on something already that I could um, help out with. Um, we can kind of keep communication flowing and um, hopefully we can kind of keep this fun guitar thing going. So I thought I'd show you a little trick today guys, um, kind of building off of something that we've already learned. Um, it's been a while but I think I think probably both um, the beginner and the advanced guitar group worked on a, a strumming pattern. I'm just going to play it and we can see if this is it, okay? So I'm remembering how I'm holding my pick, bouncing it on my finger, pinching it with my thumb so it's nice like this, and just like my arm is in a cast, I'm going to be strumming nicely, and the, the strumming pattern I'm going to go for is the down, mute, down, up, mute, down, mute, down, up, mute. Down, mute, down, up, mute. Down, mute, down, up, mute. Okay? And I will tell you what chord I'm playing in case you didn't guess already. I'm playing the D chord. Okay? So just to review that chord, it's the second finger on the second fret of the first string. The third finger is on the third fret of the second string. And my first finger, that's my pointy finger, is on the second fret third string. So it's that little triangle shape. And then when I'm strumming, I'm strumming the first four strings. Okay? So it should sound like this. That is our here comes the sun chord. Okay? So let's try that together. One, two, three, four, down, mute, down, up, mute. Great. So what I was thinking we could try today is just adding a little bit of flavor to that chord so it's a little bit more interesting. So I wanted to show you guys a technique called a hammer-on. Okay, And a hammer-on is when we play a string and then we hammer a finger onto it and it makes it sound a little bit different. So the hammer-on I want to try today is in this D chord, I'm going to try hammering on my second finger. So it's going to sound like this, just so you get an idea of, of what the hammer-on is going to sound like. One more time. Okay, so what I'm actually doing is, in my triangle here, I'm lifting my second finger up, I'm strumming down, and then I'm fretting, I'm hammering that finger back onto the fretboard. So I'm my fingers off the string and then I put it on the string okay um, be careful guys when you're doing this because the name hammer on kind of sounds like you should be hammering or banging your hand on the guitar be careful because I remember when I was starting to learn this technique I ended up with really sore fingers just because um, I was using too much pressure so, so do, use just enough pressure okay 
maybe pause the video and practice that a little bit, that hammer-on. And then when you are ready, let's try playing both the hammer-on and that strumming pattern together. So it's going to sound like this. Okay, so I'm using the same pattern. It's the down, mute, down, up, mute. But the first time I strum the chord, the I'm using my hammer on. Okay, the timing is important too. I'm going ba ba hammer on ba ba. You can use this technique with any chord, really, um, and it sounds really great. Like if I were to play an A minor, for example, I can hammer on there as well. If I hammer on this note, it just starts to add a little more interest and flavor to your chords. So practice that. Um, have fun with it, I hope. And then, um, as I said, we'll be in touch and we can figure out um, kind of what direction we'd like to take this and I can hopefully be sending videos regularly. Lots of greetings to everyone in Lena Shaw. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and we'll talk soon. Bye.